So we're going to go into our second exercise, which is our static dead bug. Go ahead, Phil. Okay, static dead bug. So uh, we're actually going to start um, and and kind of build on or and regress a little bit from that heel peel. That heel peel is pretty intense. If you're if you're doing it right uh, and you can achieve and maintain that that support or that that contact with the floor, that's a really challenging exercise. So we're going to kind of bring it back, make it a little bit more. Um, achievable and then we're going to work our way back into that higher intensity so we're going to bring the intensity back we're going to find that contact with the floor um and then we're going to see if we can maintain because that's really what it's about right can we maintain stability while we increase and decrease the levels of uh intensity that we need so same setup right we're going to start setting up on the floor supine on the ground, okay, all the same setup here. Use the floor, everyone. Use the floor as your feedback, right? This is going to tell you when we start to create that cylinder. So neck, head and neck are neutral. Pull those ribs down. Feel those ribs move down toward the pelvis. Tuck that pelvis underneath just slightly and then peel those heels off the ground. You should feel, you can use your hands to feel an increase in activity around your cylinder, okay? Good, now flex those hips and bring those legs up. There should be slight bend in the knee here, but your feet should still be higher than your knees, okay? In this position, you should be able to feel your lower back on the floor. Okay, actively being pushed into that, into that, uh, into the floor. Okay, arms are going to be up and palms will face each other. Okay, this is a challenging position in itself. Good. Jess will show you here. Um, excellent. Good. Let's bring those feet in just a little bit, Jess, closer to each other a little bit more good now we have the angles that we need here okay in this position we can access the pelvic floor a, li a little better than if your feet are too or if your knees are too close together okay so in this position here hands are up and we're just going to breathe okay you should be able to breathe and when you breathe i want you to think about breathing into the thighs okay so you should feel this expansion through the core okay through that abdominal cylinder with each inhale you should feel the expansion into your thighs okay this is what we're going to do you'll also feel the ribs expand okay try to make that try to make to feel that happen as one unit as we talked about before okay good breathe Excellent. You can see the cylinder here. Uh, Jess's cylinder from, uh, you can see it, right? Rip, uh, you could think, imagine the diaphragm at the top and that pelvic floor at the bottom and this nice cylindrical wall uh, supporting that breath. Excellent. This is a great way to become body aware, okay? Can you breathe? Can you maintain a relaxed neck while holding this position, okay? Excellent. So if you are not, if at this point you're not feeling any um, like muscle burn, like the same feeling that if you go do bicep curls or something, if you're not feeling anything like that in here, please throw it into the chat because you should be working. This is hard yeah. stuff. Yeah, these are foolproof, everyone. If you are doing these, uh, just being in that position, you should be able to feel an increase in activity. It doesn't necessarily have to be working hard. It might be working really hard, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. All I want you to feel right now is an increase in activity from you being completely relaxed, right? And about to fall asleep. That's what I wanna see, I wanna feel. I want you to feel that increase of activity in that abdominal wall, Yep. okay? That's important. Because right. we're going to build on that. 
right? That's what we're going to build on. This is the foundation. And as we go in and we start to progress um, and in increase the uh, complexity of these movements, um, it's important that we can go back and feel what we started with. Okay, so this, this, this is the tip of the iceberg here. Right. And if you're watching this on replay, this is a great opportunity for you to maybe go back to the very first heel peel exercise we showed you, because I'm sure that most of you won't really be able to breathe well or in that singer's breath in that position because it is so demanding. Whereas this six month one that we just did now is a little bit more forgiving. It's not that hundred percent that we were talking about. Right. So it can give you automatically another, um, another awareness of what it feels like to be engaged and also have that quote unquote deep breath that we talk about in singing. Exactly. That's important too. That's a very important point to make is that yes, we want to be stable, but we have to breathe, right? You're singers. All of you are singers. So you have to be able to breathe and brace and support that breath. So that's a great point. Yep. And another thing that I love about this six month position is that, um, it shows you, and I remember doing this years ago for the first time, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's what it means to be engaged on an inhalation, which is another thing that a lot of singers have never even felt in their entire lives. So that's a great exercise for that too, because it shows you that yes, we can choose to engage between the exhale the inhale and the exhale or on the exhale or whatever we can choose when we want to turn it on but it is but it's also nice to know that we have those options right that we can stay engaged the entire time throughout inhale exhale inhale exhale like if you're singing something fast like we all know that mozart does not give us time to breathe that's a great example and a great exercise that you can then apply to something specific like that so we're going to get we're going to move on to number three, if you have some questions, please feel free to throw it into the chat, but we're gonna move on because we're gonna keep adding some more options for you, right? We're gonna keep adding some more gradient to this now. So we're gonna go into um, this dead bug again, but now we're gonna add a little bit more movement. Phil? Okay, so again, we're just kind of building on this, uh, these increase in, in difficulty, so if ever you feel yourself just completely falling apart and not feeling uh, what, we're, what we're after, always take that step back, right? So that you can go back to a more basic exercise, refine that, become very good at those basics, and then progressing will become easier, okay, as you go along. So we're going with that static dead bug, same position that we start with, and then we're going to add degrees, Okay, of difficulty. And you, this is nice because you get to choose where your threshold is, right? You'll get this is another way to become very body aware. You'll find a point at which you start to fall apart and lose your position. Okay. Remember, it's all about holding position. Okay. So we start again in this static dead bug position. Okay. Again, we're using the floor. We're becoming more and more aware of our body, of our ability to create tension, um, our positioning relative to the floor. We're gonna really use the floor right now as a tool uh, because sooner or later we won't be on the floor anymore. So legs come up, okay? Slight abduction, external rotation. What I mean by that is we're not gonna be closed off here. Okay, we're gonna be abducted and externally rotated slightly. Okay, this gives us access to the bottom half of that cylinder, that pelvic floor. Okay, now we add some demand. So we're gonna start one limb at a time. Okay, so we're gonna start, take that left leg. Now your goal is to keep that lower back in contact with the floor. Okay, we're gonna start with one leg. And as soon as you feel that leg move away from the center line of your body, you should feel an increase of activity to hold that position on the floor, okay? And you're gonna drop that leg as low as you can and bring it back up. This should be really smooth movements here, okay? Try that right leg. Good, 
We're feeling that lengthening and that increased demand, which requires an increased level of activity, okay? Now, if you can, we're gonna go ahead and try to put a really serious demand on that core by lowering both legs and back up. Good, can you maintain that cylinder and that contact with the floor? Excellent. So you can see as those limbs move away from the, from the center line, the demand increases, which creates that increase of activity. This is an excellent way to strengthen that abdominal wall that will give your breath support. This is how we strengthen it. We do exercises to help move, not just there. You start to get this, use these exercises to help strengthen that support. Excellent. Okay. Are we, we're going with the now, right? Yep. Okay. Now, it gets real. Okay. So, yes, we'll go ahead and quick. I'm going to walk you through these here. We're drawing limbs, okay? What, uh, then right leg. And then, excellent. Okay. Now we're going to get you working too. Okay, leg is going to slowly right on is also to reach overhead. X. Now we're really demand yours on both upper half. Go ahead and come back and on the other side. Act with the floor and the back is critical here. Where we get the the abdominal pressure. And now it really feels and you, you're feeling we can all four things at the same time. It's a huge touch demand on that mission. Jess is doing a good job of holding position and up. Good. Excellent. Okay, and relax. Very good. I'm going to throw out to everybody this is not an extension. I'm doing Correct. <laughs> right, we're just letting those legs move through the point. Right, we're trying to and create this cover. We're just trying to length through the mid point. So I'm gonna have they do that again. I talk you through that. Um, give myself whew, before back through and talk through this. Because, um, we're gonna start this to sing it. I'm going to purposely use these really flowery old terms on purpose. You can feel what is actually happening in your body and what that means scientifically. Let's go here. Let's start with the movement that we do first because we bring the idea of diaphragm support or a part we all talk about here at the part of this, and we're going to use this arm motion to have us feel that, right? So let's go back. Go into the dead butt here. And we're going to pressure engage. And I want you to slowly move just your arms both together. And I want you to notice that everything is still hurting, right? Everything's still on, but Notice concentration efforts here. The applaud as the scope, you should feel increased specifically in the general area. So, we are nice and slow, and I'm laying through my shoulders. I'm not moving my elbows. Slow, slow back, 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 and as you hang out here, you feel that this lower out the abdominal cylinders, but there is a lot of effort here at the top. Not as noticeable as when we're here in position. Go back. Okay, I feel it moving up, and it comes down a little. Try 
going to show you is that everything you already are, there's no muscle group you're going to engage, right? Because as I said before, everything has to work together to be realized. It doesn't matter if it's a C, it doesn't matter if it's a trill, it doesn't matter if it's a high C, everything is still fighting the same time, just the same not to the amount. So go back. We're going to pretend we're going to sing a difficult. We're going to build the concentration effort lower in the body so that you can feel what it feels like. Right? Here we are. Go back. Head bug. Okay. Feel every turn on. We're not going to fast, right? And now we're just the leg. It's okay. Go very far. This is not about how you go, it's about when you feel it. We're just going to slowly move it down, and you should feel this happening. You should feel the concentration of the begin to move lower and lower and lower in the abdominal cylinder. And for some people, actually feel in your hands or if you have a Part of your body actually starts to look a little bit different as you get there. Yeah. So okay, we're gonna go nice and slow, and you should feel it slowly increase and turn downwards. You can hold it. We feel the effort, and come back up. Okay. So let's take a break because that was a lot of work for us. But if anybody have any questions about that, please throw it in the chat because it's really challenging. Position. But again, what I'm trying to show you is that we're not adding the floor in saying a high note. The pelvic floor is already there. It's just doing most work singing and not the middle voice. So instead, but to show you, you have a choice of which um, which group you are with or where sort of specific what time specific or you need to perform that specific task. So what you see is take some more low abdominal and a little bit like you know voice is a lot it's not gonna have such demand, right? Now let's put some acting behind it, not just about what it kind of looks like when we see it. So if you have a straw, let's grab a straw. If you don't have it's okay. You can either lip trill or pills, roll trill. Or, personal favorite, send me a V noise. Pretend like you are blowing one of those teeny coffee straws while you make V. Looks like this. Basically, all that is it helps apply the back. Pressure. What do I mean? I mean that we are to less. What we should do while we're singing all the great talk about singing, serving the claim. We've we had these stories before. So do that together. So here we are. Back and try. Start easy in the voice, which means we concentrate on the voice. Right? We're just going to do basic, like five or octave siren. Something nice in your middle place. and we're going to end the side while we increase the end, like so. It looks like this. Yes. Let's pretend that we do another high note. Siren. So let's choose something that's an octave and more comfortable. So we choose high tessitura on purpose so that both the pressure creating muscle pressure that's by the air, both in while we this specific of saying right? So our straw or whatever you prefer to do. And you're welcome to 
do one or the other. You're welcome to do both of them if you would like. But the purpose of this exercise with these basic environments is trying to show your body what it is when you move your hand is exactly what it should be like when you in the middle voice, right? And what you feel move just is exactly what you should be feeling when you sing a note. This is the exact same thing. And we're doing this on purpose. Both your brain and your body know what the result that we're trying to achieve, right? Because um, we want to be able to perform the task and press the button mentally, right? That's the ultimate. We want it to be conscious controlled. Now doing it, now not. Right? But what a lot of us don't realize is that training is all physical, right? We have to train what these groups are feeling. So, if, for example, you are singing performance and you're sick, it might be helpful for you to be able to control it this way with the muscle group and with the brain. So, it's nice to have a balance of those um, available to us. So, um, if you have any questions, any of those, or about what we're talking about, a specific part um, of the concentration of what's happening, please throw it into the chat because this is a crucial thing for us to talk about. Okay? So, <laughs> just catching up on our point here. Okay. So, oh, things last. We have not it off the floor, guys. <laughs> We're still here on the floor, and I didn't want to spend the entire pre just having you on the floor and telling you how much you don't know. So we're going to pretend that we a lot more than this. I know we're going through this very fast, but we just want to get all the juicy about this. We're be spending a lot more time and a lot more practice. And you want on feedback at the itself. So everyone with their cameras on will be able to say, hey, John, we do a little bit of this, and there'll be a lot of given and like master classes to this. But for now, I can just give you really fantastic information. So we're going to graduate now. Take away some of this port is the ground, and now we're to graduate to a second position. So, Phil, would you take it away for us? Yeah, if we could just sing an entire thing down on the ground, uh, it wouldn't be very entertaining. Uh, we, do have, we do have to be able to hold our body upright while getting support without feedback um, from the floor or having help us to straighten right now. We've got to that's that's the of some of these tools is also upright the spot right so we're gonna we're gonna get, uh this exercise um and uh it's a do so get ready not to to waste that. okay so it's a very similar position okay uh this position that we've been Okay, uh, is universal just for a lot of reasons, a lot of different things. This the position isn't much, and I want you to keep that in mind. What is different is the angle, okay, which we are in that position. Okay, it's similar though. From um, take note, angle the uh, hip and Kind of up later, so we're coming more part ways. Okay, still going to leave most of your on the floor, but we're going to take the line and see if we can. Is that position is okay. now 
to get in. Uh, we're going to back here. Okay. Same position. Rotate it. Rotate it. Okay. This is the back. Pull your up position. Neutral now. Nice flat. Jump this position. Thinking about pushing your belly. Pulling your belly in. Push that back toward your Just get this tall position. Feel an increase of activity in your abdominal wall. Just doing this. From here, Up, and this position. doing what's going to be in as your core to lose ability to. Excellent. Again, this is challenging exercise. On this, more do the the not stronger, more neural control have uh, with your breath, with your feed to each other. Is Practice against the practice, uh, increase your control over and your. So, this one should be for you. I said, you're not right, and you need to push that grab legs and try. So, what we're going to do. Going to apply this specific exercise to singing is I want to show you if you have control or not. We're going to find out, right? What we've been doing is we've been doing all the exercises that give your body the correct thing. So To find out now. We're going to use that position. So here we are, back, back, and we're not going to engage. Yet. We're just going to sit here, relax. Let, um, let's do that spinal tension because whether or not we are pressure or not, we humans is to have nice spinal. Pressure. So we're going to go some nice posture, right? And there should be a little bit of activity going on. Okay. All we're going to do is I want to see if you can increase the pressure here before you begin. Right? And you can do anything. It can be iron. It can be a line from It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use a for clarity. Hard to hear sometimes. I'm going to do some sirens. And I want you to see if something different in your body, but you're just out, you go to sing, right? Here we go. Okay. And then times again. Okay. So, the purpose of this is that if you have just control. No change between when you are 
moving to an age and when you're the same. If you're the same, you're creating the environment you want. Right? Let's get the opposite way. Right? Put your hand on purpose like this so that you can relax. Right? So I want us to encourage the relaxed position, couch position. Talk about those teachers say, Oh, you know, just relax, just breathe normally, it'll happen. No, no, that's not gonna work. Right? So, perfectly create a super relaxed, lethargic vision here. I want you to go ahead and see if you can reestablish that same position because shouldn't be right so let's relax and siren ready notice if I force myself to be totally relaxed and do it again actually this sounds like right get all the way right but it's different than this Another option that guy. So heart, choose to engage. And we're going back. Make it really difficult. And now you're going to be. My point of these things is that we know how you feel when we are going to want to and how you feel when you go to when you're, you know, because the point is you have to be able to pressurize when you do. So, yes, I do it from this position. I do it from any position. We're going to do these specific. Exercises for learning so that next go of this we're not going to be easy to we'll be a lot of it make floor and not sit or or really of what we're talking about and as we get into it, we're going to be talking about into how we that into and take off press switch that we do today and even attention and control and awareness of all of this. So you feel this didn't answer all of the questions that you because we don't have time to give it all to <laughs> And if you feel like you have gotten something from um, that you haven't gotten we would love to hear it because what we is to and everybody throw we have real they all have any, like full to it. That's the end of the spiel. Um, thank you so much for coming to this. We are just so beyond excited and thrilled. And um, honestly, I'm a little bit giddy, Phil, about this. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, you, and you should be, right? We're, I, I really do feel like we're going to help a lot of people. Uh, increase their level of performance. Uh, if you've been stagnant, th these are the these are the things, right? This is how we start to refine our skill. Um, strength is nothing without control, right? So we're just scratching the surface here, uh, everybody. We've got a lot we're going to go through. Um, you will have a higher level of awareness, 
body awareness and you will have a higher level of body control uh, and you will have a higher level of breast support um, after this summit, right? So get signed up if you want to get stronger, if you want to support your breath and you want to have control over that, you want to be able to perform and, 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 and vary that degree um, and get stronger uh, with your breath support, this is how you do it. Um, we've gone through this. Uh, it's helped Jess. I know that she, you know, when we first started, uh, she had all these questions and, and, uh, she got all this positive feedback from her coach and, uh, it, it works. Uh, you guys, we've done this. She's used it. She's been using it. She's been helping people with it and it, it works. This stuff works because it's simple, because it's basic and it's effective. Yeah. So we hope to see you in a couple of weeks, in a few weeks. And uh, yeah. Yeah, we're excited about this. I think it's going to be really good. Yep. Yep. So get signed up. There will be a link in the description to go sign up so that we can mail you your materials so that you're there and ready. Um, we really hope that this has shown you um, how how effective zoom can still be as long as the material is foolproof like we showed you today. So. Um, Please uh, let us know if you have any questions at all. You're welcome to leave feedback on the chat or as a comment or email, whatever you prefer. We would love to hear from you and talk with you. Um, so that is all that we will have for now. But please stay posted because we might post some little like sneak peek updates as we continue, just throwing that hint out there. So until then, we will talk to you all later. And thank you so much for coming. Have thank a great day. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Yeah, bye.